So the project's about um, can, can we uh, make uh, an additive part out of magnesium, which isn't the easiest thing to do, and can we translate that into a, a part on a product that, that really could make it work for the future? So one of the big things with additive manufacture and, and magnesium is the opportunity to reduce weight. And in the aircraft industry, weight is a really big deal. And when we're starting to talk about sustainability, one of the biggest things we can do as an industry is to take weight out of, of the aircraft interior. This is something which is really difficult to do. And it's not really been, as far as I know, been done before successfully. So there's, you know, we're trying to push a boundary uh, really here with the material. The next level of that is how you take that additive magnesium and translate it into the product in an innovative way. And um, one of the things with additive and, and the way we're doing it with magnesium is can we take parts out? So can we make one part that does the job of three parts? So there's innovation that comes through the process, turning it into a product. The machine behind us here is a powder bed laser fusion type additive manufacturing machine, where if we begin with a substrate such as this by applying powder, and fusing it with a laser, we're able to weld successive layers of magnesium powder until we've produced a complete component. So here we've demonstrated our capability to manufacture a, a real world component from this new technology. And the benefits of that are going to be around lightweight in this component, improving its design. Now we have the freedom of additive manufacture in this material. So all the material that we haven't used around this component is recycled. We don't need a specific size billet. We can make any component without needing to obtain billet material for that particular component size. So it's much more flexible and robust way of manufacturing magnesium components. It's not to say it's pure magnesium. So we're working with an alloy of magnesium, which is inherently safer and less flammable. And, and the innovation in being able to use this material with the additive manufacturing technique enables a lighter weight design. Our role in the project is to uh, assess the material properties to optimise the thermal heat treatments of the materials, to maximise the performance of the material and to validate the components of the manufacturer to check that they are in good, have good integrity without any pores and cracks etc. What excites me personally is the fact that we can manufacture these components using topological design to minimise the weight of the components and actually man manufacture them using these technologies, these additive manufacturing technologies um, to give full scale components which have very good integrity. That's what really um, excites me. You know, magnesium in, its, in, a, in a powder form in the air is, is highly combustible. Um, so the machines take care of that. They, they, they're very carefully managed that, that, that material. Um, but what we found over the, the years with the aircraft industry is that magnesium has become more and more acceptable in the cabin. And we're realize, realizing that there's an opportunity here to, to look at different metallurgy that gives us sort of more weight benefits. And that's, these are the sorts of things that I think we're, that, that are gonna come through over the next few years. And I think we've had a, an awful lot of technical challenges in developing this. And firstly with magnesium, safety concerns are always gonna be first and foremost. So I think we're very proud to have been able to conduct this project and come up with a completely safe way of working with this material. And we all have technical challenges in achieving the mechanical performance that's required to make this material useful for the design of products in the future? Well, I think one of the, the, the roles of NATEP and one of the roles of, of myself as a designer is to look to the future of, of, of the UK. And, you know, we've got some really talented people here in the UK that are great inventors. So I see projects like this and this particular project that I've been working on as a kind of stepping stone for us to be leading edge of technology. Um, and if we can take that and harness that in a really creative way, we have the ability to make really uh, cutting edge best products in the world. So in being in the NATO program, it, one of the big things is really pulling people together because, you know, I've met companies I never would have met before. Um, there's some great sort of financial support and, uh, and connections that, that NATO have provided. So it's been a real key thing. We wouldn't have been able to do this project and I wouldn't be able to take part in something like this at an R&D level if, if NATEP wasn't around. Yes, it's been really good uh, working with Progressive Technology, in, in particular Dave Cooper. It's a really exciting NATEP project and it's been really, uh, really good to see it come to fruition. It's coming towards the end now and the uh, results have been quite exciting. Um, they've actually managed to produce parts which was the gold of the project, so it's been really good. 
Well, NATEP's role uh, in the project is to mentor and, and make sure that the project progresses in a, in a timely fashion. It's, we've been there to uh, help mentor them, to act as a critical friend, uh, we like to call ourselves, to uh, ensure that they get the best out of this project and the best out of the NATEP money that uh, is going towards their project. This is actually using magnesium alloys, which are not as combustible as magnesium on itself. So they've managed to progress it to a stage where the certifying authorities are quite happy for it to be used in the cabin of aircraft, which is quite an achievement. <laughs>